Kyler Murray was turning heads with his matching pregame outfit off the field and breaking ankles on the field. The Cardinals QB became just the third player in NFL history with both a passing and rushing TD in three consecutive games. But it wasn't all good times for Murray, who had three interceptions as well. I feel like if I don't turn the ball over three times a day, we, we put ourselves in a better chance to win that game. We just can't turn the ball over um, like that three times against a good team and expect to win the game. I think the percentage of that is winning a game. If you have three turnovers and they have zero, it's like 5%. This was the first week that fans were allowed to attend a home game, limited to just 750 family and friends. But unfortunately, the crowd was not loud enough to help the Cardinals defense hold off the Lions. Arizona went into yesterday's matchup allowing just over 17 points per game, second best in the league. But they couldn't slow down Matthew Stafford and company. Well, I'm pissed. <laughs> I mean, I think that you know, obviously we had opportunities to win the game, even playing as poorly as we played. I feel like in this league you get what you earn, um, and today we earned a loss. In his second season, wide receiver Andy Isabella is getting more and more comfortable, and it's showing on the field. Isabella had himself a day in the end zone. He doubled his touchdown total from a season ago with two against the Lions. He had four catches on the day, two of them for touchdowns, doubling his season total from last year. I worked so hard for this, and I'm, I'm, I mean, there's, there's no reason why I shouldn't go out there with an the edge and and I mean, I could play out there, and that was, that was one of my big things this year was, was my mindset. Next up, the Cardinals hit the road for three straight games, beginning with the 1-2 and two Carolina Panthers on Sunday. For Rachel Phillips, I'm Reed Harmon, and this is Cardinals Corner.